Because Lori and I have been friends with Mark and Connie, we got to see Kara grow up. We have always been impressed by her fabulous smile, by her brains, by her sweetness, and yes, Andy, by her beauty. I would note that as we talked, Andy admitted that his discovery of Kara began in reverse order. He first noted her beauty. Oh, young people. <laughs> At any rate, we've always been confident that Kara would marry a terrific guy. So it is no surprise that she is here today with Andy. The first time I really remember like actually meeting him was um, I was doing homework with another girl and we like met in this, I uh, was talking to her and we decided to meet in the student center to do homework for our math class and Andy happened to be there with her and um, I mean I, don't, I just remember we like didn't talk at all. <laughs> we just sat there and did our homework, me and Andy. You know I, I remember meeting him but I remember we didn't talk until later we got to be better friends. I had told one of my roommates at the time, you know, she was coming over and hanging out and I told him that I was interested and he was like, yeah, you need to go for it, you know, you need to, um, you need to pursue it. And so I just, we started hanging out more and we were good friends and so finally I, um, I asked her out on a date and so that's kind of what started it from there. As they became friends, they noticed qualities in each other that they appreciated. They took their time getting to know each other. In fact, it took about 24 months and a bet that Alabama would beat Arkansas in a football game for their friendship to become a romance. We had a bet going. He's a big Alabama fan. I'm a big Arkansas fan. And so um, we had a bet going that if Alabama won, I had to wear an Alabama shirt to school on Monday. And if Arkansas won, the, it was a football season. And if Arkansas won, um, he had to wear an Arkansas shirt to school on Monday. So, like a week before the game or something like that, Andy was like, um, how about we make this bet a little bit better? Like, kick it up a notch. And I was like, okay. We made a bet that if Alabama beat Arkansas, then I'd take her on a date. And so, um, obviously Alabama won and uh, I got to take her out and I was you know I was a little nervous at first going over to her house and picking her up she lives in Searcy and so I got to go over there and meet her parents and all that so um, I was I felt like I was dressed up pretty nicely and went over there to pick her up and we had had some club functions going on that week and um, it was kind of funny because I walked in and we were going to go eat and hang out and then go to some of the club functions. He was dressed really nice, like had a button down shirt on and was like dressed up and I just had like a t-shirt and jeans on, like I was not dressed up very much. And I, I saw him and I was like, oh no, I should have dressed cuter. Well she didn't realize that that was our first real date and so she came down and she had on a t-shirt and shorts and she was, she didn't realize that I was going to be all dressed up. so. It was, it was fine though, it was good. We definitely enjoyed it. We still laugh about that today and she likes to bring that up. The wedding is a really big thing. Just ask anybody who's married. I say this because we in the Harding community go to so many weddings, it can be a little commonplace. But for the two people whose lives are changed forever, it is anything but commonplace. Me and a couple of other of our friends, we went um, and stayed in a cabin in Ponca, Arkansas. And uh, we were hiking that day and there's a cliff up there. We went on a hike to um, Whitaker's Point. It's, it's also called Hawksville Crag. But um, we went on this hike there and so we were, and we made it to the bluff and it's apparently the most photographed place in Arkansas. So it was really pretty and it was like right when the sun was setting kind of around that time. And so we went to the bluff and um, 
all of, Andy was being, he was acting really cool until we got up there and he got really quiet and he was being really sweet though, like very lovey on me and like hugging on me a lot and just being, but he just wasn't really talking as much. I was pretty nervous, not, I was, wasn't nervous until I got up there. You know, everybody that was with us knew that it was happening that weekend and I had the ring and everything and so we were going to take a hike up there at sunset and watch the sunset and then I was going to propose right at, right at sunset and so we got up there and everybody was trying to, you know, leave us alone and go do their own thing. Our friends all kind of disappeared. They all went exploring and around the bluff and we were the only ones there. Um, and we were just standing there for what felt like forever. We were there so long, but, um, and I, um, I remember thinking like, okay, maybe this is happening, but I don't know. Um, he's acting weird, but he's not doing anything and he has the perfect opportunity right now. So why, you know, like, is it going to happen? I don't know. I just remember being like, all these thoughts were racing through my head. And I was, you know, I was getting more nervous and more nervous as it, you know, as the sun kept setting. I was like, all right, it's, it's go time. It's time to do it. And so, um, finally, she, she could pick up that I was being, you know, acting nervous and acting funny. And so, um, finally, I just, she said, why are you acting so weird? You're being so quiet. And I was just was like, well, I got to ask you something. And I, I got down on one knee right there and, and proposed. It was on top of a, it was really pretty cliff. And so the sun was setting. And I turned around and he was down on one knee and asked me to marry him and I said yes. And then all of our friends came running up and, you know, they were taking pictures of it the whole time and I had no idea. He, he had had it all planned out and it was perfect. I, Andy, take you, Kara, to be my wife. To be my wife. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and our friends. Our family and our friends. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally to support you in your goals to support you in your goals to honor and respect you to honor and respect you to laugh with you to laugh with you and to cry with you and to cry with you and to cherish you and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live for as long as we both shall live I Kara take you Andy to be my husband to be my husband in the presence of God in the presence of God our family and our friends. Our family and our friends. 
I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to cry with you. And to cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Andy, you may kiss your bride. I am pleased and proud to present uh, to you Andy and Kara Simmons. Listen. 